recent flight of advertisers from Elon Musk's X has gotten a lot of oxygen. Our next guest, though, says that the real story of the moment isn't what's happening on social media sites that are filled with user-generated content. It's really what's happening in emerging ad channels like connected television, read streaming here, also digital audio. Joining us right now is Jeff Green. He is the CEO of ad tech firm The Trade Desk. And Jeff, this has been really interesting. We've been watching social media and the very volatile uh, back and forth about who's pulling their ads from where. You say, don't even worry about that. There's something else that's much more interesting. Yeah, what many forget is that the supply and demand has always been biased towards the advertisers. And so uh, what has happened in the last few years, especially because so many of the consumers have moved into streaming, is that advertisers have more choices. And so as user-generated content has more problems, more hate speech, more problems. You just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen, and people can say anything, and it's generated by users, and policing that is hard, and there's more and more users. That more and more of the dollars have moved to premium content, where the real value is. And CTV, or connected television, is really the most effective advertising in the world right now, coupled with audio, and there's more choices than there's ever been. So they're often moving from those platforms into that, into st streaming or connected television because it's premium content, and that's what we help them do. Is Elon right, though? I mean, he has been very vexed by Disney and other advertisers pulling off of, the con uh, off of, of X, saying that they're killing the platform. Well, is he right that they're killing the platform? If all the advertisers leave, I do think he has a, a, a big problem, and I think the trend is not in his favor. Uh, um, but, yeah, they are going to go to the places where they have the most amount of value and where they believe that their ads are safe and the brand safety uh, uh, of I mean, that's not a crazy thing for an advertiser to do. Like, I want to promote brand safety and make sure that I'm not getting drawn into any sort of conflict. Yeah, so uh, I think advertisers need to be safe. And what I, what I don't think is often understood is how fragile brands are, brands are and how fragile the ecosystem can be and how important it is that they're in front of content that they really believe in or care about and that the options are greater than they've ever been because there is more streaming content than there has ever been. All of us, every time we go to a party, get a bunch of assignments and what we're supposed to watch. There's more to advertise against. That creates more options for advertisers. And so now's the time to be courting them, not arguing with them. If the social media sites are the losers, who are the winners? The winners are those that are streaming. I think audio is a winner. I think Spotify can be a winner as they continue to Spotify grow. Spotify keeps going, laying off more and more employees. They are struggling. Well, if you look at what they reported in their last earnings and the opportunity in advertising, I think that's their way out of any struggles that they're having. Uh, and because of the fact that right now, Google's being a bit more aggressive on, on issues uh, uh, around privacy, I do think that creates opportunity for the premium content owners to advertise even more. I, I thought ad sales at Meta and some of the other social media sites were actually doing pretty well. That th those are ads that you can directly impact and that the algorithms there are pretty good. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, I do think Meta does a phenomenal job. I think they've done a lot in their investments of AI, which have been, uh, I think, very good for targeting and relevance. But you still have a user-generated content problem in, in Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitter that is very different from the premium world of streaming and pro professionally produced content like in a Spotify. So what do the numbers show just in terms of where the ad dollars are going? Well, I mean, in the last, so last quarter we reported 25% growth. That's year on year comps that were also 20 to 30% where their comps were negative four, negative 5%. Uh, so the open internet is growing much faster than what we call the walled garden. When you say we, what, who are you talking uh, about? Oh, so uh, the trade desk and the open internet. So we're growing much faster than on those what walled base? gardens. Uh, on our, on yeah, the, what base number? I'm just talking about uh, growing 25% is easy to do when you have small numbers. Yeah. Some of the ad dollars are pretty big numbers when you're talking about meta and other places. Uh, agreed, but negative 4%, negative is negative. Okay, but uh, so, what, what kind of growth are we talking? What numbers, base numbers? Well, 25% uh, on what? Well, I mean, anybody can look at our, our, our earnings. You can look at... Okay, uh, then tell me. Well, uh, uh, I, I'm not going to go into the specific numbers today, but... Uh, Why? <laughs> If anybody can look it up, just tell me. What, what are we talking about numbers? Uh, we're talking uh, half a billion dollars. Okay. So that, that's what I mean. These, these companies used to have much greater growth when we were talking about smaller numbers there, too. Uh, sure, sure. But uh, 
If you're looking at growth rate and where we're heading directionally, to me, the open internet as a whole, when you put it all together, all of those companies that represent uh, premium content and you put all of those together, that is growing faster than the walled gardens. And, and those numbers are comparable when you put them all together. So if you're talking about just us as a company, mm -hmm. I think we're a proxy for that entire ecosystem. And that growth rate is, is growing faster than the walled gardens. If you look directly, though, it, it, are you, do you mean Netflix is going to grow faster? Are you talking Peacock? Which of the streamers are you talking about with, with real content? Yeah, so I think the streamers are part of that open internet. So when you put that together, that, that's included in that. Uh, uh, so I do think the collection of them are growing faster than the walled gardens, and the numbers support that collectively, okay. not just uh, in the trade desk, which is also growing faster than any of those individual companies.